Hi, welcome to 7 Fact, the channel where you get to watch a video about every single country on earth. In today's video we're going to talk about the Falkland Islands, but do remember that there's a playlist containing all the British territories, so be sure to check that out too. Also, please remember to subscribe if you wish to see the two new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. The Falkland Islands is probably one of Britain's most famous overseas territories. It lies about 500 kilometers east of Argentina in the South Atlantic Ocean. There are about 778 islands that actually make up the territory, covering about 12,000 square kilometers, which makes the Falklands larger than Cyprus, Lebanon or Jamaica. While they are not an independent country, they are however autonomous, with the United Kingdom taking responsibility for defense and foreign affairs. The Falklands were uninhabited when they were found by European explorers back in the 16th century. It was in 1764 that a French settlement, Port Louis, was established on East Falkland. Two years later, Port Egmont was established on Saunders Island by the British. Amazingly, the two didn't actually know about each other's existence until Spain took over the French settlement and discovered and captured the British settlement. Because of this, Britain and Spain were actually very close to go to war, but this time violence was averted by restituting Port Egmont to Britain. Following the independence of the Spanish colonies in South America, the newly formed nations took over Spain's territorial claims. Years of abandonment, resettlement and skirmishes followed in the Falklands, until 1840 when the islands were declared a crown colony. Since then, British settlers started arriving and settling on the islands, while Argentina to this day continues to periodically register official protests and claim the islands. The capital of the Falkland Islands is the town of Stanley. Out of 3,400 people living in the Falklands, 2,900 call Stanley their home. Founded in the 19th century, Stanley used to be one of the world's busiest ports because of the damages sustained by ships going around the dangerous Cape Horn, South America's most southern tip. But when the Panama Canal was opened in 1914, ships would no longer have to travel around the entire continent, so Stanley gradually went into decline. Today, Stanley is a small, quiet town and remains the economic and cultural center of the nation. The island's weather is strongly affected by the cool South Atlantic Ocean, giving it a narrow annual temperature. However, the weather is quite similar to the UK, but with more sunshine hours and less rainfall. Summer temperatures are, however, lower here than in the UK. Don't think that you'll feel like you're in Britain, though. There is a major difference due to the island's close proximity to the Antarctic Circle. Summers are from October to March and experience an average of just 6.6 .6 hours of sunshine per day. The mean maximum temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. During winter, April to September, the sunshine hours decrease to an average of only 3 hours per day and temperatures drop to a mean maximum of 6.6 .6 degrees. The Falklands are self-sufficient and self-governing and do not require financial support from the United Kingdom, with the exception of defense. The islands are a United Kingdom overseas territory by choice. On 10th and 11th of March 2013, the Falkland Islands government held an internationally observed referendum on the political status of the Falkland Islands. The people were asked one question. Do you wish the Falkland Islands to retain their current political status as an overseas territory of the United Kingdom? The turnout was 92% and 99.8% of people voted to remain a British Overseas Territory. However, this referendum didn't settle the issue with Argentina. 
the UK bases its position on its continuous administration of the islands since 1833 and the islanders' right to self-determination as set out in the UN Charter. Argentina's position is that it acquired the Falklands from Spain when it achieved independence in 1816 and that in 1833 the UK expelled Argentine authorities and settlers from the islands with a threat of greater force and afterwards barred Argentinians from resettling the islands. The Falkland Islands population is homogeneous, with the majority of inhabitants having been descended from Scottish, English and Welsh immigrants who settled the territory in 1833. In the 2012 census, a majority of residents listed their nationality as Falkland Islander, followed by British, St. Helenian and Chilean. Only a smart number of Argentinians live on the islands today. A significant population decline affected the archipelago in the 20th century, with many young islanders moving overseas in search of education, a modern lifestyle and better job opportunities. In recent years, the island's population decline has reduced thanks to immigrants from the United Kingdom, St. Helena and Chile. Today there are about 3,400 people living here, plus about 1,300 military personnel who are stationed in a large military base. So, as you probably figured out by now, the Falklands represent a major dispute between Argentina and the United Kingdom. This dispute turned into actual war in 1982. The two countries were secretly negotiating a possible transfer of the island, but the talks have failed and the dispute escalated into war. On the 1st of April that year, an Argentine military force invaded the Falkland Islands. The British Expeditionary Force managed to liberate the Falklands after 74 days of occupation on 14th of June 1982. Unfortunately, nearly 1,000 Falkland Island, British and Argentinian lives were lost as a result of this war. To this day, the two governments are no closer to solving this dispute and, at least theoretically, another war could erupt again, especially since the island's economic activity has shifted to oil field exploration since the war. And there you have it. These were 7 facts about the Falkland Islands. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.